Third term to understand in the concentration of solutions is your mole fraction. Its symbol is chi which is often resembles with the uh, normal alphabet x. Now how this mole fraction is defined is that if we are having in a solution two components A as the same the solvent and B as the same solute and NAR the number of moles of the solvent, NB as the number of moles of the solute. So, the mole fraction of solvent will be the number of moles of the solvent upon number of moles or sum of the number of moles of the solvent and the solute. Whereas, the mole fraction of the solute will be the number of moles of the solute upon sum of the number of moles of the solvent and the solute. So, mole fraction is the number of moles of component upon total number of moles of all components. So, it is the that is why it is called fraction which means out of 1. Now, the main use of this term is it gives us a comparative account of the number of moles of the, two, of, the, of the two components which are present in the solution. So, if we want to know whose, comp whose number of moles are more in number, we can easily use the term mole fraction. The best part is that the sum of the mole fraction of both the components of the solution is always 1 unity because it, it means it is out of 1. So, if we know the mole fraction of one of the component, we can easily make out what, what will be the uh, what, what is exactly the mole fraction of the other component. And therefore, it is used to give the comparative account okay, whose moles are more in number and whose moles are less in number. So, the formula is very simple. It is the Na upon Na plus Nb for mole fraction of B. It is Nb upon Na plus Nb. Number of moles of a component upon the number of moles of the components of uh, number of some of the number of moles of both the components. It is it's like this. Now, you need to know also the formula, the relationship between mole fraction and molarity or mole fraction or molality. See this term is related to mole molality and molarity as such like this. That molality is 1000 XB upon XAMA and molarity is is equal to 1000 XBD XAMA plus XBMB. There is no point of going into the derivation of this, but yes, we can use these formulas to find out molality and molarity from the mole fractions. XB is the mole fraction of the solute in the solution. This is mole fraction of solvent in the solution into molar mass of the solvent. This is mole fraction of the solute. D is the density of the solution mole fraction of the solvent in the solution, molar mass of the solvent, mole fraction of the solute in the solution, molar mass of the solute. So, these are the formulas, but you need to know for dilute solutions, for dilute solutions Xb is very small, therefore Xa is almost taken as equal to 1 and this is not Xb sorry, this is number of moles. Nb is very small for dilute solutions. Therefore, the number of moles of solvent are taken as almost 1 because number of moles are neglected because they are very small, very small in number. So, therefore, we can modify this they are neglected. So, what we get is what we find is out of this what we can make out is for dilute solutions that the mole fraction of x a is taken as 1 and mole fraction of b is neglected. Neglected therefore, x a plus x b is often taken as x a. Now, we can use this information in these formulas 
if we use this information for dilute solutions, your mole molarity, com molarity comes out to be 1000 xv because 1 this small and this small number is multiplied by 1000 this becomes a significant number. Your mole fraction will be almost 1 and if it is aqueous solution your mole molar mass of the solvent is 18. So, 1000 by 18 is 55.5. So, it is 55.5 by the mole fraction of this. So, molality is 55.5 times of the mole fraction of the solute in the solution. This is a very approximate thing, but yes, we use this very often whenever we have dilute solutions. Similarly, for molarity, for molarity what we can do is, we know it is 1000 xb is your xb density is 1 because density always remains almost 1 not changing because the solution is your dilute. Your mole fraction of solvent is your 1 into 18 is its molar mass and we neglect this. So, this is often taken as almost equal to 0. So, this again is your 1000 by 18 into mole fraction which is 55.5 of the mole fraction. So, molarity is also. So, for dilute solutions remember molarity and molality are almost the same and they are 55.5 times of the mole fraction of the solute, but this is only applicable for the very what very dilute solutions where the mole fraction of the solute is almost is less than equal to what 2 percent. Other than this you have to what you will you can use these formulas. Let us do a numerical to understand how we find out the mole fraction find mole fraction of solute in its one molar aqueous solution, nothing else is given. Now, as the question or numerical indicates the solution is one molar, which means one mole of the solute is in 1000 grams of water because it is aqueous solution. So, your number of moles of solute are already one the number of moles the solvent since the mass of the solvent is 18 its molar mass 1000 and the molar mass is 18 the number of moles of the solvent are 55.5 so the mole fraction of the solute is 1 upon 1 plus 55.5 it is 1 upon 56.5 so which comes out to be 0 0.018 so this is how we can find out the mole fractions of the solutes in the solution